Hi, today I'm going to show you three easy DIY sublimation gifts that are personalized and they are perfect for any woman in your life, whether it be your mom, your grandmother, your favorite aunt, or your best friend. It's a guarantee that they're going to love all the thought that has been put into this gift. Hi, I'm Robin Rogers. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. The first gift that we're gonna make today is a personalized mug. It's perfect for a hot cup of coffee in the morning or it's great for a relaxing cup of tea in the evening. The second thing we're gonna make is a kitchen towel. This towel is perfect to hang on the oven door or it can be used every day. The third thing we're gonna make is a luggage tag. This tag is perfect for the jet setting woman in your life. So come with me and let's make all three of these easy and quick personalized sublimation gifts together. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna to make together is a personalized sublimation mug. Today, the things that you're gonna need are a 15 ounce ceramic mug specifically made for sublimation. I'm using a mug paper. It is made just for mugs. It is four inches by nine and a half inches, so it's the perfect size to wrap around your mug. I've got my heat resistant gloves and microfiber towel. I've got my heat resistant tape, and I also have my uh, plastic X-Acto knife. And I've got my design that we're gonna use. So this is for my mom. Um, it says Nana's Garden, and each flower represents her grandchildren. So the first one was born in October. We've got a marigold. Uh, the second one was born in February. We've got a violet. The third one was born in March, which is a um, daffodil. And then um, the last one was born in October. So it's another marigold in a different color. And then it says, we love you with a heart. So um, this is actually mirrored, a mirrored design. And then we also have the heat press. Um, so for today, I'm using the attachment that's made specifically for a 15 ounce mug. Um, normally I use the 20 ounce attachment for all my um, 20 ounce sublimation tumblers and also my 32 ounce, my 22 and my 32 ounce um, tumblers. But like I said, today we're gonna use the attachment that's made just for the 15 ounce mug. Uh, my, my heat press did come with, uh, I believe it's a total of seven attachments. Um, it ranges from shot glasses, latte mugs, um, several different types of coffee mugs, and then my 20 ounce one that I use every day. So I've got my heat press set to 385 degrees and we're going to be um, doing it for 190 seconds. So we're just waiting for the heat press to heat up and then we will get started. But before it's heated up, we need to tape the design onto our mug. So I'm just gonna put a little crease in the middle so I know where the middle of the design goes. We are going to make sure it's centered on the mug. Okay, put a piece of tape on one end. Mugs are nice because you have to you only need to use minimal tape, which is always nice. Oh, and also I wanted to say, because my mom's left-handed, I set it up so when the birth flowers are facing outwards and then the little note, it's kind of like a little private note that only she can see when she's drinking her coffee or her tea. But if she were right-handed, you know, you'd be holding it in this hand and this is where your design would be. And then the personal note would be on here. But since she's left-handed, I did it opposite. So it's extra special because it's made just for her. All right, let's see, everything looks straight. So we're gonna go ahead and press it. Like I said, it's 385 degrees for 190 seconds. I'm gonna put my mug in here. Make sure it's centered in the press. And we're gonna close it and we're gonna wait 190 seconds. And we'll have my 
gloves on so I can take the paper off the mug. There we go. Oh my. I think she might actually shed a couple tears for this mug. So here we go. It says Nana's Garden with all her grandchildren on there when they're her names. And it says, we love you. So like I said, she's left-handed, so she'll be holding it this way. And then she gets her own little personalized note. This is actually one of my favorite designs. So if you're interested and if you wanna know where I got my design, leave me a comment below and I'll send you a message with a link with where I purchased the design. So our first quick and easy DIY personalized sublimation mug for that perfect mom in your life. All right, the next thing that we're going to make is a personalized dish towel. So the things that you're gonna need for today's project is, I have a waffle weave microfiber dish towel. I have a lint roller. I've got my heat tape. I've got two pieces of butcher paper. And I've got my design, Nana's Garden. Love grows here. I have it printed out on a eight and a half by 11 piece of sublimation paper. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, my heat press is set for 390 degrees and we're going to be pressing for 40 seconds. Um, the first thing I wanna do is I want to rip around the design. And the reason for that being is sometimes um, when you print, um, the sublimation ink splatters around the side. And although we can't see it now, when the, um, the heat press, when it heats it up, the ink, um, you'll see little blue spots. So I'm going to gently rip around the, the design. And also the reason for ripping is it creates um, a thinner edge which minimizes the uh, press line, because you don't want to see that press line on your design. So, I've ripped around my design. I'm going to put a piece of butcher paper down. This is going to protect my heat press. Pull out my tray. Um, as always, I will put a link in my description of all the products that I've used on this video. I love this heat press. Um, you can see I like the drawer and you'll see um, it opens automatically when it's done um, pressing. So. Um, I like to have a crisp line on my design or a fold line. So I'm gonna fold my design, I'm gonna fold my towel in half. And then I'm gonna do it in thirds here. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press it for about 10 seconds. Um, and this helps get any moisture out of my towel. So I've got it all nice and straight here. I'm gonna put a piece, uh, another piece of butcher block or butcher paper on top. Um, you'll see once I put the design on, um, it'll, if there's any bleed out from the ink, this, uh, it'll, the butcher paper will catch it because I don't want to get it on my heat press. So I'm going to do this for 10 seconds so I get nice crisp lines and to get the moisture out of my um, towel. Okay, we did that. Our towel is nice and hot now. So I'm also going to lint roll it now. Um, the purpose of lint rolling is uh, right now we can't see any um, lint or excess fibers on it. So um, just like the ink, um, when this heats up, uh, we will see all kinds of blue, spot, blue spots if there's any lint on here. So I'm gonna roll it. can't see it now, but 
once the uh, once it gets hot, we might see some blue spots. So we want to eliminate that by doing this roll. Okay, we've got my design here. I know um, because I know my design. I know that the middle is where this O is. So I'm going to try to put that in the middle here. Line it up straight. Looks good to me. I'm going to use probably about maybe two pieces of tape here. Um, it's important to use the heat tape on here because uh, one thing about sublimation is you don't want your piece of paper to shift because if it shifts, you get a little shadow and that's what we call ghosting. So I want a nice crisp design. So I'm gonna use two pieces of tape. Yep, that'll, that seems sturdy to me. We're going to put this uh, butch paper on top and we're going to press. 390 degrees for 40 seconds. All right, let's check it out. One thing that I did want to mention is when I was creating my design for the towel, it is seven inches by five and a half inches. I found that to be the perfect size for my towel. All right, I gave it a couple of seconds to cool down. All right, now let's remove the tape. a little hot but it's not too hot to handle perfect looks great I know my mom is gonna love this and it's gonna be perfect with her mug the third thing that we're gonna make today is a personalized luggage tag the supplies that I'm using today to make our personalized luggage tag is I have a round MDF we're gonna put we're gonna put the design on both sides. We're going to need our tape, our microfiber towel, and our design. So for this design, I already have it cut to size. I'm using a monogram on one side, and then I'm gonna use this design on the other. So my mom likes to garden, so you'll see there's some flowers on the design along with a hummingbird. That's why I love these um, ideas is, you know, they can, they can be really personalized to the person who you're giving them to. So I know my mom will love it because she loves a garden and they also have a hummingbird feeder outside their window. So they're constantly feeding them, you know, that sugar water and the birds are always flying um, around their house. So that's why I know that this will be awesome for her. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my microfiber towel to wipe away any smudges on this uh, round circle. Okay, once the circle has been cleaned, it's now time to put the monogram onto the disc. So I've got it, I've got it all lined up. So I'm gonna put four pieces of tape. It's very important that we make sure that the circle does not get moved during the sublimation process because we don't want that ghosting. That we talked about. Ghosting is the shadow. I wanted to have a nice crisp design. Okay, so I've got it all taped up. We're going to put a piece of butcher paper underneath the design. And on top. And we're going to press it. We're going to press it for 392 degrees for 100 seconds. All right, let's check it out. It's going to be super hot, so I'm going to try just to touch the tape. Ooh, it looks great. Okay, now that it's cooled off, we're gonna go ahead and sublimate the back. So we're gonna do the same thing where we line up the design. So in this case, we're gonna line up the hummingbird. Okay. I'll we'll use four pieces of tape just like before since that worked out perfectly. Put 
one piece of butcher tape on the, or uh, we'll put one piece of butcher paper on the bottom, one on the top, and let's press it. All right, let's check it out. Be pretty hot here. Looks nice. A little hot here, but we'll let it cool off a couple minutes and then we will put the um, silver piece on it to make it an official luggage tag. Okay, now that the luggage tag has cooled down, you can now insert the metal hoop on it. This is what you'll use to put the tag onto your luggage your gym bag, or whatever it might be. There you go. You've got your monogram on the front, and then you've got your hummingbird on the back. And there you have it. You now have three quick and easy sublimation gifts to give to any woman in your life. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this one, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my video today and have a great day. Bye.